The turtle's tracks start from here. Hmm, it's laid some eggs. Strange place for a snake to call home. Eat it, Buster. Jesus, I can't believe some of the stuff I have to do. It's a shallow pond with a few rocks in it. I've no intention of wading in. No good. The pond is full of piranhas. I have to be careful not to slip. The conduit goes uphill and it's hard to grip. Damn, the laser charger's exhausted. Just dirty linen. Difficult enough climbing up the conduit when it was dry. Now it's wet and soapy. It'll be impossible. It's now closed, but the slightest knock will open it again. What's that noise? What the hell's going on? Jesus, who the hell are you? A worthless soul. I used to be a brilliant scientist. Now I'm shot. Worthless. 
Hey, wait a minute. Are you Vizel Moreau? Yes, and you are? Oh, it's a long story. But you only need to know that I'm here to get you out safely. Out? To where? There's only the ocean outside. The physical torture is bad enough. Please, don't start with mental torture. I know you people are trying to get me to break down, but I refuse to willingly join in with your sick games. You've got it wrong, Professor. My name is Reeve. I'm working with an organization that wants to blow Genesis and its sick plans into the open. I know something about the VST project too, but not much at this stage. How come you know about all this? Your diary, Professor. I found it in the Virtual Amusement Park. My diary? Very well. I'll do what I can to help, but I'm afraid I can't offer much. Some colleagues are waiting for me. To find a way through to Section B. Once we've regrouped, we'll be able to get you out. Oh, I'm touched by your resolve. But there's a fence with 100,000 volts running through it, completely surrounding the prison. It's absolutely impossible to get in, and even more so to get out. I agree that it's an interesting problem. Just cooperate and we'll get you out of here. How the hell can we get the keys to your cell door? The prison governor has them. He usually carries them with him. And when he doesn't, I presume he keeps them in his office in Section B. You can get to it by going through the door directly behind you. I believe that there's some sort of numeric code required to open it. Does the governor often visit your cell? Every morning. He takes me to the lab and waits until I've finished carrying out the experiments. Then he brings me back to the cell when I'm done. I'm never left alone, at least not for long. Where's the laboratory? It's behind a security-coded door in the guardroom, opposite the laundry. Any clues about the security code? No, but each key on the pad makes a specific tone. The governor always opens it in my presence. I never actually see what he's doing. But I can hear the tones of the keypad clearly enough. And they obviously don't change it very often. I know the tone sequence by heart. Do you know the sequence for the door behind me? Sorry, I've never seen it or heard it be opened. Who is the governor? I've no idea, but he's one sick puppy. His twisted mind takes pleasure from the horrific experiments I'm forced to carry out. The worse their pain, the more pleasure he gets. I've seen him writing weird stuff on the lab blackboard, too. Don't forget, Professor. Keep calm. That's easy for you to say. Al, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I found Vizel Moreau. Is he with you? No, I can't get him out of his cell without the keys. The plan to enter Section B is in tatters. There seems no way in. The security is too tight. What about that pipeline you used to get in? No use. I had to use it to give one of the guards the slip. The only way of getting the cell keys is by going through Sector B. Moreau says that the governor's office is around there and that the keys are there. Once we have them, we only have to open the door which separates Block C from B. One of the doors is coded. And we believe the Governor's is, too. Okay. We'll stick to the original plan. It's tricky, so be as quick as you can. Cool it. I'm going as fast as I can. Nice family album stuff. Must be the guards' wives. Damn. It's locked. Heavy-duty reinforced bars. There's no way through. 
There's an iron grill here. Not my idea of a good night's rest. Hmm. It's a metal panel closed with two screws. The keys are no use here. It's the strong point as far as the furnishings concerned. A thermometer and some dental floss. It looks like gas. Maybe it's ether, used to put patients under. It's a note about guards' shifts. According to this, there's just one guy on duty. Okay, got it. It's a porno mag. These guards must get bored down here. An empty bottle of bourbon, more's the pity. Cool. I've got the audio visuals of the key panel on film. Here, Professor. I managed to record the sounds of all the keys on the keypad on the security door. Yes, very good. Uh, let's listen to it once more. Four, four, six, six, seven, seven. Nice one, Professor. I'll check it out. Great. It worked. Thank God Moreau was alive. Sketched formulae and calculations. Okay. Done. Jesus, these people are butchers. It's a sophisticated induction tool. It's not the right one. Only telephone wires go through here.
The computer is interfaced to all the sensors on the couch. It must be used in the experiments or torture. Damn! There are three identical cables in here. You hear me, Al? I hear you, Joshua. We've got a problem. Another? Great. I've managed to open the panel and there are three cables. We've got a problem. I'm not sure which is the correct one to cut. We have to be sure. We can't risk the parallel cutter. We've only got one. And if you mess up, me and Eva are toast. So what do you suggest? You simply have to find a way of identifying the right cable. We'll just sit tight until you're ready to proceed. Okay, I'll get back to you. Two hundred and twenty volts. Two hundred and twenty volts. One hundred thousand volts. Al, you receiving? Copy that, Joshua. What's new? Well, I'm ready to cut the current on the security fencing. Fantastic! We're ready. Just give us the all clear when it's down. Okay. Careful, though. You won't have long to get past the net. I'll only be able to take it down for a short while before they restore power. Fine. On your signal, we'll run for it. Okay. Now! Great. Anyone see you? There was a guard nearby, but we don't think he saw us. We're going inside the prison. All clear. We've crossed into the canteen and kitchen. We're into the corridor, which leads to Sector C. There's a sliding door right at the end. It must be the coded one you mentioned. Al, Moreau thinks the governor's office is around there somewhere. There are two doors, Joshua. We'll try the first door. Okay. We're inside the first room. It's empty. It's an office, but it's deserted. We're wasting time here. We'll try the other door. This has to be it, Joshua. There's no doubt. This is the governor's office. Great. Grab anything useful and get out quick. There's a satellite communication system here. Eva's found some kind of code and a set of keys. Well, well. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? Martin, you murdering bastard. You won't get away with it. And who's going to stop me, you naive fool? You? No, Al! Martin's, you bastard! Governor, call the guards. We're saving this place. No one else must enter or leave. Yes, sir. What about the woman? Lock her up, but place an armed guard outside. I'm not taking any risks. You got it. I'll take great pleasure in interrogating her later. But first, get on the SAT system and call for reinforcements from Genesis. As you wish, sir. Guard, remove that body from my office floor. Yes, sir.
Now they look like two balloons. The wind is blowing across the prison towards the isolation cells. Eva, can you hear me? Joshua? Yes. Joshua, Al, he's... I know. Sorry. I heard everything. Martins will pay with his life. It's over, Joshua. Al is dead, and I'm stuck in here. Don't worry about me. Try and save yourself. Get out while you can. Relax. All is not lost, Eva. If we manage to get the professor out, they're screwed. He's exactly what we need to expose Genesis. I found something that I think might be some sort of code. But I can't get it to you from here. I can't risk losing it through the window. You can pass me the code through your cell door. It's no good. There's a guard right outside. Can't you deal with him? They've taken my gun. I've nothing to use. Face it, Joshua. I'm dead meat. I'll try and get something to you. As soon as I'm ready, I'll signal. Joshua! I implore you to get out while you can. They're sure to find you soon. Okay, done. Okay, done. Okay, done. Eva, can you hear me? Yes, Joshua. What is it? I've got something that might just work. It's a poisonous syringe. Inject the guard with it and the game's over. All you need to do is to get him close to the door panel. It's very risky. If I fail... Look, we have no other option and time is short. Don't worry. Just be ready to grab the wire that will pass your cell window. Okay, Joshua. Ready as I'll ever be. Guard! Guard! What's the problem, baby? Room service not up to scratch? Look, I've been thinking. I'll cooperate. I don't want to die. I've got the location of the Rebels base written here. Can you take it to Martin's before he decides my time is up? I think Martin's was looking forward to interrogating you personally. Then you'll know what pain is. Look, please help me. Martin's might reward you. If you tell him that it was you who persuaded me to cooperate. Please, what have you got to lose? I'll do anything. Anything? Okay. Let me have a look at the note first. Then we'll discuss your forfeit. Ugh. What have you done? You'll find out soon enough, you gullible bastard. Ugh. I can't. Joshua, I've done it. He's collapsed. I think he's dead. Cool. I'm coming in. Hurry! The others might have heard the commotion. No cell keys, but at least I'm tooled up again. Eva, the code, at once. Here it is. It was in the governor's desk. Hmm. I've seen these symbols somewhere before. Whatever the code, it's not going to be easy to decipher it.
It's obviously ciphered math stuff. Joshua! How the hell did you manage to get in here? The game's up, Hugh. You screwed me around once too often. You're crazy! What are you talking about? Cut that crap, Hugh. Innocents have been killed. The murdering stops here. I know all about VST. Jesus! I've invested a fortune in this. If it hadn't been for that idiot Moreau and his lack of balls, VST would be operational by now and I'd be a very rich man. You're insane, Martins. VST is flawed, and you know it. Look, Joshua. I know how this must seem to you, but you're wrong. What if I was to swing it so that you got a nice little slice yourself, huh? What about 20%? It's a considerably large cake, my friend. I'm not hungry. Jesus H. Christ, Joshua! I saved your life, remember? You can't do this to me! You owe me! Cut that crap, Hugh. That bird was drug running. It was the cargo that was important, not me. For all those years, your sick mind had a hold on me, but no more. The only thing I owe you, old friend, is a bullet. Look, Reeve, I I'll give you 30%. Well, 40 if you want. 30 or 40 is what they'll give you if you're a good boy. The game's up, Hugh. You can shove your blood money, Martins. Joshua! You did it! There's no time to lose. Go to the governor's office and use the communication system before it's too late. Martin's called for reinforcements, and it won't be long before this place is crawling with Genesis men. And as soon as we get the facts out in the open, they'll scatter like the cowards they are. Go. I'll get Moreau and join you. This is Katrina Lacroix with the News at 7. Just in, Union City Governor Hugh Martin was arrested earlier this morning following allegations of his involvement in an underground research project involving human experimentation. This project is alleged to have involved human fatalities. Martins is now in custody awaiting trial and an urgent inquiry into his company, Genesis, is now underway. We cross now to Rocus Perdita, where Martins is being held. Welcome to Rocas Perdita, where police are still searching for the man who is responsible for bringing Martins to justice. A man to whom much is owed. Maybe I'll call Eva when the dust has settled. But right now, I need some sleep. <laughs> 